Preacher, we have reports of a 1 Corinthians 9.16. Did I hear you right? A 1 Corinthians 9.16? Yes, that is correct. Sir, hold on, there's another one coming in. They are pouring in, it's like a virus. Worldwide, confirmed reports of apostasy also. My God. Send the medics. Send them all. Send all the reserves we have. With the last line of defense. How could this happen? Spiritual silence. Spiritual silence. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory, and thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, Neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate, but thou shalt be called Hephzibah, and thy land Beulah. For the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest, till he establish, and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. And the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine, for the which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise the Lord. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Spiritual silence is gladly one of my main motivations and not only so, but we glory in tribulations. Also knowing that tribulations works patience, and patience experience and experience hope. Heavenly thoughts of seeing Jesus Christ face to face. I see eternity on the horizon and scope. Hope makes you not ashamed. Three plus years has been since freedom from self and sin. Jesus Christ, the rock of rocks, is how I sustained. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Spiritual silence is like denying that the just Jesus Christ died for the unjust. Many claim to be Christians built without man's hands, temples of God. Maybe they've forgotten. I will declare the decree the Lord has sent unto me. Thou art my son this day have I begotten thee. Now my life truly begins because of Jesus Christ's blood. It makes you free. Three plus years I've been warning day and night. God doesn't slay the righteous with the wicked. 
shall not the judge of the whole earth do right. So many things going on. Have you marked the old way which wicked men have trodden? Darkness surrounding me. Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak to the Lord, which am but dust and ashes. Take away my spiritual silence because soon there will be weeping and gnashing. Let me, Lord, boldly proclaim, repent, and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Death waits for nobody, but still awaits tonight. Wickedness has become so ridiculous. Lord, give me patience. I'm so sick of this. Dainty delicacies of sin, they eat like deliciousness. Truth put to your faces, but we're labeled the conspiracy theorist. Illuminati coming through. Soul swearing, pronouncing with their lips to do evil. I see they been came. Therefore, whatsoever you have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. And that which you have spoken in the ear and closet shall be proclaimed. Since a few years back, things ain't been the same. Truth be told, after Jesus' resurrection, the whole world changed. Corporations and governments are greedy, feeding off the helpless and needy. Full of your money, but still screaming, pay and feed me. All the while, masses continue to be played and sprayed, laid down, bent backwards in God-awful ways. Just simple minds corrupt, destitute of the truth, too scared of the system, too scared what's above their own roof. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even man that Ophir's golden wedge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that you won't be no priest to me. But perception still perceive based off only what they can see. While Satan slithers in their ear quietly. Subliminal thoughts that say, follow me. You can be as God, eat the fruit, pick up the gun, point at him, then shoot. This is spiritual warfare at its finest. Get people act like the battlefield is oh so quiet. Say nothing, don't speak, do as I say, and maybe you'll live the rest of this day. All robbery, no mask, no mystique, mystery of inequity at its peak. Strong death threats claiming eternal bed rest. Gun cocked and loaded, eyes on me, they say don't test. I simply reply, I died with Christ, yet I'm alive. Me denying the Lord Jesus, please, that's not my born again nature, spiritual suicide. Fear him that can destroy body and soul. Now no fear of death, I cannot be sold. I've been tried in the fire, refined by God himself, and now finer than the finest gold. Lukewarm Christians, where y'all at though? Too busy chasing material things. I see you sneaking and creeping like snakes, slithering. All the while shameful and naked, only dressed to impress in misery. Three plus years by God's grace, I've been spitting truth, warning you, feeding you good food off God's heavenly menu. But it's hard to receive when you're full of yourself. Jesus answered them, have not I chosen you 12 and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. Follow Jesus, lead. Satan, get behind thee. No spiritual silence. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Modern day Judas Iscariot betraying Jesus every day, asking for refills. But he died worse than Mike looked in Thriller. I've learned keeping quiet to the truth makes you the real serial killer. Wisdom has built her house in me. She has hewn out her seven pillars. I still see you watching me. I live what I preach, so no hypocrisy. Be doers of the word and not hearers only. Spiritual silence from your closed mouths leaves you and many lonely. Deceiving your own selves. Let's recall again, Jews are scared, was one of the 12. If you see me, know that I'm still here. Catch me in the clouds and know that now you only have seven years. Too many are loosed and mute to the truth. 
turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and y'all refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Half stepping, you've been seeking me half hearted. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when fear comes because you spit in the face and tried to shame the blood of my only begotten son. For years and years you've been warned. God said who will go for us. I finally realized this is why I was born. Spiritual silence. The church cannot keep quiet. Get the truth in you, you must buy it. For years and years you've been warned. I finally realized this is why I was born. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues.